next technique is Tai Otoshi. Tai Otoshi. Tai means body, and Otoshi means to drop. So it's a body drop. You're dropping down very low and dropping uh, uke hard to the mat. So it's, a, it's a very downward, uh, very powerful throw, pounding the, the opponent into the mat. Uh, tai Otoshi is not a leg technique. Because of the position, a lot of people see this and they think that it must be a leg technique. It's really a hand technique. It's a teiwaza, because your hands are the, are the critical component to this. Uh, there is often people question, they see in uh, the Kodokan Judo textbook, they see uh, Mifune Sensei demonstrating Taiyotushi, and it doesn't look like what they learned in the dojo, and they say, is that wrong? Is that the wrong picture? Do they get something wrong there? When we normally see Taiyotushi, he's stepping forward, and you're drawing him up, and you're in a position similar to this one in front of him. And so you're throwing, your body is at an angle, and you're throwing him around the inclined body. And you're doing this by pushing or extending to make the technique. And this is, this is uh, analogous to what happens in the Dai Ikyo. Mifune's technique, though, doesn't have this block. He's standing upright like this, not blocking the leg, and throwing anyway. And this is really just the, the old uh, projected method of Taiyotushi. Coming forward, and I step and throw him out. It's all hands. This is the the basic uh, Taiyotushi from basic principle. The leg is just a convenience. My instructors always refer to the leg as being like training wheels on a bicycle. It's just helpful, but it's not really necessary to the technique. When we have uh, our back to Uke, and you throw it to the front or the corner or even the side. Okay, so he steps forward, and I'm, in, I'm turning my back to him, stepping this way to throw, or this way to throw. Uh, this is Taiyotoshi. If my chest is to, toward his chest, and I throw to the front corner, then this is Ukiyotoshi. Ukiyotoshi. This is Uki means float, Otoshi means drop, Ukiyotoshi. If I'm doing it to the rear corner, chest to chest, this is sumiyotoshi. So these are all projective uh, hand techniques uh, in the different directions. And the, what changes them is your orientation with respect to your opponent. Your orientation is going to affect uh, how you're able to generate the power from that position. But grossly, they look very similar, varying only by whether you're, you're face to face or back to face. The idea of taiyotoshi is that you extend your partner uh, over their foot and throw them. Uh, because one of the poles is very high, uh, you've got to bring them in a very high arc. And so to make that work, you have to block their body with your body to some extent. And so we wind up throwing uh, uke over your inclined body with a pressing or extending action. Now this technique uh, has as its counterpart in the Dai Ikkyo, it has ogoshi. And so students say, well, if these are related in some way, how in the world does taiotoshi, dewa, the hand technique, relate to ogoshi hip technique. These are very different looking, you know, so what's, what's the trick here? Well, the trick is that there is an old version of ogoshi in which you project your opponent. You come around the waist and you walk out to the corner and carry them with you as you make the technique. This is very close in, in concept and direction to throwing taiyotoshi without the leg block makes the projective motion. So these are very closely related, in fact. Taiyotoshi is with a, with a leg block, and we do this when we apply the, the kazushi as the opponent steps forward, or that you draw them forward by your turning of the waist, pulling through the center, and creating a strong pull around with the left hand. So you have a flat arc here, and the second arc is here. You're actually starting from your center, and you're rotating to create this arc, and you're shifting your hips 
and turning to create the upper arc. So you've got one hand this way, one hand this way. They come out and pull them through the floor, and they get back to you after Bouquet has already hit the floor. So it's on the back end of it. It's after Kake, so they're separate during the Kake. Okay, hence two, two separate arcs, two separate pulls operating. And she steps forward, you slice the back strongly, bringing this arm around. In this case, now you want to make the right hand make the surite, or the high surikomi type of an action, very high one. You're not strong enough to just lift your opponent off the ground here, but you can keep them from going back down while you drop under and block ankle to ankle. Go under, get the, high, the right arm high, and bring them over by coming back up underneath the arm. Up high. If you have rolled your arm in this way, it's wrong. That's not Tayotoshi. When your arm rolls under this way, and you twist them and pull them more onto your back, this is Seonage. This is Seoi Otoshi. It is a variant of Seonage. So the arm should be on the outside and drawing upward, pushing on the floor with your right foot, drawing them upward to make this high lift. So she steps. Go back around, draw, under. And over she goes. There's a dramatic rising and falling of the body. Falling and rising. You drop under them, rise back up, and then you come back down to pull them through the floor. So you turn, you drop, come up under them, raise them up as they go over, and then you pull back. They go up, you pull them down, and then you pull them back up again, because you're literally pulling, pulling them through the floor. Drop under it, go up, pull down, lower your body, come back up at the end to pull them through the floor. Very strong, tewaza. Here, and over. To defend against Tayotoshi, the idea, again, is to spoil the principles upon which the technique depends. Uh, since the technique involves bringing somebody around your body, which your body's at an angle and you bring them around it, he may just jump over that and try to beat you to the punch. He wants to uh, get in a position where you can no longer use that to throw him. So he may jump over it. The alternative is for him to resist going over it by lowering his center and pulling back the other direction. If I attack Tayotoshi, he comes in, and I step in, especially if my timing is slightly off, he may jump over my leg, which is jumping around that incline. He jumps over. Now, in this position, if he jumps over, the, what's happened, though, is he's come over, and he's, he's, he lands. He's got to jump with his right foot over, which puts him on his right foot. His weight is on his right foot, and he's leaning forward. It's a great position for a Tayotoshi. So here, come in, he jumps. Just do a second Tayotoshi. Again. Second Tayotoshi to make it work. Another alternative is for him to simply thrust his hips out and defend. In this case, I can turn and apply Omchigari to the rear. Another defense that you can make against Tayotoshi is a simple little technique. It's a kosarogaki of sorts. It's really Tayotoshi Gaeshi. In this case, he attacks Tayotoshi. And I step over, dragging the left foot behind, and I'm going to catch his leg and drop him back. It's just enough to make him lose his balance. Comes in, 